everyone, it's James with High Guy, and today we're taking a look at the new Force Link 2.0 gauntlet. This comes in the starter set along with a Han Solo action figure. Um, this is replacing the one that came out last year. It adds a new feature which is Bluetooth and also in a companion app to go along with it. Uh, that also means that it can stay relevant longer because Hasbro can push out updates to it through the app which can add new voice and sound effects for future vehicle and figure releases so that is a big uh, one-up that it has on the one that it's replacing I'm going to call this a review in progress though and that the reason behind that is the app that this gauntlet requires to work is not out currently on iOS um, I couldn't find it on iPad or my iPhone I was able to find it on the Android App Store uh, on a tablet I have, so I'll demonstrate it. But right now the app is extremely half-baked and it's pretty buggy. Uh, it acts kind of crazy. I'm going to uh, show it to you just so you'll have an idea of what it, it's going to look like. But I really don't know why Hasbro pushed it out in the condition that it is right now. I believe that's probably why it's not on iOS yet because Apple's pretty strict about apps um, being released. They they want them to be as finished as possible, and right now it looks like it's, you know, 90% there, but it still has uh, some ways to go, because it only works with the Han Solo figure, uh, as far as the 2.0 figures, it only works with him, and all of the ones before it, the 1.0, so all of the new stuff that came out today, uh, the Millennium Falcon, the, the Speeder, the Wampa, Luke, um, the, all the figure sets, I have most all of those, but I can't demonstrate them because it doesn't have the sound. It actually has a pop-up message that says that these are going to be released in a future update. So stay tuned, but right now only Han uh, that comes in this package and the other figures are what works. So I was kind of disappointed since the official street date on the gauntlet was today. That's what's printed on the Hasbro cases. Um, it's actually, I guess, yesterday since it's past midnight, so that would have been April 13th. Uh, so I really had hoped they would have this thing ready to go um, because it's. I've had this actually for a little over a week. I got it early, but I wasn't able to do anything more than take pictures of it and write some initial impressions uh, because it does not function without the app. So I want to make that clear. You have to have a smart device capable of running an app for it to work, otherwise it is a paperweight. Um, when I had it uh, before the the app came out today, it, it did nothing. Uh, it wouldn't it wouldn't do anything at all. It just uh, would turn on, you know, to give you that noise, flash its orange lights, and that's it. So you have to have a smart device for it to work. It has to make that initial connection. So something to bear in mind. Most people have one, but it's a good thing to, to put out there. It kind of lets you know on the back, but it doesn't really make it that clear uh, unless you read into it. So I'm kind of wondering why they didn't make that a little bit more apparent, but um, that's not what we're here for really. We're here to take a look at it, and let's go ahead and do that. Quick comparison with the one it's replacing. Size-wise, about the same. The base here is a little bigger. That might help with uh, recognition since it reads through NFC I believe or a, a radio frequency so it's a little bit bigger not by much you've got the white on green gunmetal on blue on that other one really nothing to write home about as far as differences but if I had to pick one I'd probably pick the white one just because I think it stands out a little more this one they both use the three triple A's battery compartments in the same place these two things here I had hoped they were buttons instead of maybe uh, having to tap it which was kind of hit or miss if it worked to trigger additional sounds I'd hoped that these were actual buttons that you could at least maybe click or touch sensitive but they're not uh, they're really just for aesthetics that's the battery cover there's nothing under there but the batteries there are no electronics so the, the tap around this area is still what you do to trigger the, the noises so we'll set this aside the gauntlet itself it goes on the same way with the, the strap here. And I put it on my arm because I had trouble getting it to work without actually having it on my arm. I know it will, but it's just a little easier to demonstrate to you. And so the, the premise is you basically have it on your arm like this. And then you 
have the character or the ship in your hand and you flick it up and initially it should uh, turn on if it's not already it's kind of there it is it still kind of acts wonky I'm not really sure what's up with it I had hoped that they had made a lot of improvements over the first one because in my honest opinion it, it really wasn't great uh, everything about it, it just it didn't register very well uh, with the characters. The tap didn't register. I could hardly get it to do much of anything. This one, I guess the good, the silver lining is it can get better through firmware updates with the Bluetooth. So hopefully that's the case. But if we pick up the Han figure, and I flick my wrist here, you should hear some effects. They call me Han Solo. They call me Han Solo. This better be worth it. They call me Han Solo. So he knows his name, so that's good. He wants they everybody else Han to make Solo. sure he knows that. I don't run from a fight. So you've got that. They call me Han Solo. I don't run from a fight. They call me Han Solo. Huh. I've got a really good feeling about this. Hey, I wish I did. <laughs> They call me Han Solo. This better more. be worth it. I don't run from a fight. It has a blaster firing noise. If I can get it to do it, usually. But you see what I'm talking about? It's. They call me Han Solo. There it is. I had to, and there's some other little noise. I had to really fight with it though. So I'm not, I guess it, a, a kid might not care too much just because it makes noise regardless, but to get any sort of a play dialogue going, it's going to be interesting. It does sync with other gauntlets of, that are 2.0. Uh, there is a way to do that, I've read, and it's supposed to encourage play with the two of them. They somehow sync together and they can uh, communicate back and forth. The characters can one will know which character the other is holding and act accordingly uh, that feature isn't enabled yet in the app like I said the app is not really all there yet but that is something that it, it mentions in the manual and while I'm thinking about it I will go ahead and say that this 2.0 is backwards compatible with all figures that were before it um, with the original force link so pretty much everything that was released uh, last year but the 1.0 gauntlet does not work with any of the new ones, so keep that in mind. But the 2.0 works with all of the new figures coming out and the old ones, vehicles included. So it, it does cover all that, so at least you've got that much that's good. Orange lights on it, just the same as the other. Indicate that it's on. It has the auto timer that turns it off after five minutes. I'll show you a quick look at the Han figure here while I've got him. Okay, sculpt. The eyes aren't bad. Hasbro, at least on this one, the eyes aren't looking off in different directions like you normally see. He's got a really long trigger finger. He's got his DL44 blaster and holster, his blue pants with the red stripe, the Karelia uh, pants, the ones that he wears in all the movies basically. His holster, the gun. It's all right, it's really flimsy. Uh, the barrel on it's extremely small, skinny. I almost uh, broke it off, Let's see if I can get it here. When I was putting it in his holster, because it doesn't go easy, you can see if it'll focus there, it's been up, but yeah. I don't know how long that it would last being played with, but it does go in the holster, and once it's there, it stays, so at least I shouldn't have to worry about it falling out. So now, I'll sit on here. I'm going to show you the app. I didn't want to make this review too long, but I know if you're like me, you have questions about shelling out $30 for this set, if it's worth it. So, I wanted to give you everything that I can as far as info goes on it. So here's my tablet. I'm going to start from the beginning to show you exactly what it looks like when you go into the app. The app, the icons here, loads up. It's got really nice graphics. 
Nothing wrong there. Sound effects. So, congratulations on your purchase. Sound effects for Force Elite 1.0 toys and Force Elite 2.0 Han Solo figure included with your starter set are available now, like we were talking about. The app update that will give you all other Force Elite 2.0 sound effects is coming soon. Please visit apps.hasbro.com for app update availability. So, like I said, kind of half-baked. Not exactly sure why they didn't have this ready, but it's, it is what it is. So, I wanted to at least let you see that. You hit play. Now, you choose your hero. Uh, it's, you can choose uh, dark side or light side. Heroes, villains. If you want to add another one. I did villains before, which was Phasma. You can pick a new one. Here's an, had another, in, uh, the touch on it's not very good yet for some reason. It d doesn't want to register. So here's all the heroes, not very many. On the light side, villains, Snoke, Kylo Ren, Darth Vader, Boba, Captain Phasma. So a few there. I've already got Captain Phasma here. Now the app does give you a neat feature that is uh, collection tracking. There we go. And it will track characters in your collection and also give you playtime stats. Um, I guess for kids to show how long they play with each one. It's not particularly useful, but it's there so you can use it. Um, this says level 10, I don't know why, and as you'll see in a minute, it has some other weird nuances that I'm not sure why it says that because th this is the second time I've even touched the app uh, today, even used it, so really haven't done much. Uh, settings, you've got profile, sound, language, reminders, help. And then you've got this. Um, to go back and choose another hero. So here's your collection. Um, like I said, it's kind of strange. Toys activated 100%. Um, heroes, 100% villains, vehicles, unaffiliated, creatures, wish list, favorites. I've got a lot of figures, but I haven't activated any of them besides the character that came with it. So I know it's not picking up all the ones in the room. Um, it's because some of these are far away. So I don't know why it says I've got all of them, but I don't. And level 10 is maxed out. I'm not, like I said, it's, it's kind of strange. It, if you click on one, notice the only new one is Han Solo. All these other ones are from the 1.0 release mostly last year. You got the silencer, uh, Ray, Pose X-Wing, Ski Speeder, Tally's A-Wing, the Police Speeder from Kanto Bai, the Wrath Tar. So if you click on one, say the Stormtrooper, Trooper reporting for duty. It, it will show you the sounds that it plays. So I was hoping maybe some of the new characters would be in here because somebody had asked if the Luke that comes with the uh, Wampa was using Mark Hamill's original voice. I don't think it's going to if any indication comes from the toy so far. The Han Solo uh, voice, I don't think it's the actual actor that plays him. I could be wrong, but it doesn't exactly sound a lot like him. But I haven't heard a lot of him since the movie's not out. But the ones that I did play on here, C-3PO, of course, is is Anthony Daniels, as always. It has these different backgrounds. You can pick with each one. One of them is augmented reality, as you can see here. Kind of puts the character wherever. Not all of them have the augmented reality, though. For some reason, I noticed the Stormtrooper does. And then the backgrounds kind of pertain to the character. So like if we go to Han. Well, we can go back. He's got a background from that basically is the box art. Maybe you heard of me? Best pilot in the galaxy. 
augmented reality there. See, there you go, you got that, which kind of looks like an afterthought, really. There should, it seems, you got this up here and then nothing. It's almost like they didn't finish it or something. That, of course, is the Force Link logo, augmented reality with the camera. This actually might be on all the figures. Earlier, I couldn't get it to, to go through, cycle through all of them, but now it seems to be acting a little better. So there it is. Uh, it, it's there, but it's not all there, if you understand that. Uh, I think that's probably why it's not on iOS yet. Um, could be wrong, it could just be a, a coincidence, but I know Apple gets kind of picky with that. And I was hoping that it that uh, it would release on all platforms because I know a lot of people have this set and are wanting to use it. But right now, no matter how many of the new figures you got, it's only going to work with this guy. I was wanting to test it on the land speeder because I'd like to hear the sound of, of Han Solo's new land speeder, the engine noise from it. Uh, but that's not there yet, so whenever uh, that is the app is updated I'm going to release a second video to hopefully conclude the review and hopefully uh, Hasbro has pushed out some firmware possibly to make the, the gauntlet a little bit better because as you can see it's pretty much a reskin version of the first one uh, the, rec the figure recognition and the, the flicking of the wrist it's still a little off and especially this touch point here it doesn't seem to be any better than the first one. Uh, the sounds that it plays, it's it's just kind of hit or miss. If it if it gives you the one that that you're hoping for, if it'll do it at all. So it at least it has the potential though with the Bluetooth. So uh, I'll leave it at that. If you have any questions, uh, let me know in the comments or on my channel's Facebook page. I do have a full gallery there with comparisons to the old uh, old one. I appreciate everyone watching my video and the support so far. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel and that will help me out tremendously. I hope everybody has a good day and may the force be with you.